today Arsenal are back again at the Emirates Stadium. This is the normal match day, which no one really should care about. I don't know why you're watching this video. It's just a pointless. Um, Babs, it's the last game at the Emirates. The last game. The, the last game. At the Emirates. The last game. Uh, um, okay, then I, I guess that's it. It's, it's, it's the last game at the Emirates, and it could be very emotional. You might see tears. You might see. Fucking Saints, man! It's gonna be lit! I cannot wait to get to the Emirates, even though this is filmed the night before, which means I still need to sleep, which means why am I awake, which means let me just stop this and let's just get straight into this. Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? My name is Basil Team. Welcome back to my channel. Today, this is my vlog for Arsenal versus Brighton of Old Albion, oh, oh, Brighton Albion, whatever they're called, Seagulls FC, FC Beach Wankers. Yeah, we're playing them today. It is match day 37, but it is also the last game at the Emirates until obviously uh, the Emirates Cup, I guess, or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's the last game at the Emirates, so it is kind of gonna be emotional. And also, a few scenes because uh, Block 26 at the moment is pretty lit, I say. But yeah, seeing as it is the last home game of the season, I mean, it just, it just means you just have to. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, please feel to do so much appreciated. Comment below your thoughts on the game because you would know the result. Hopefully, Arsenal win because if Arsenal is to Brighton home, bro, it is going off. And not in the right way. Comment below hashtag Team14 for a shout out in my next video saying that. Shout out to you, man. And with that being said, guys, we are here. The finale of the season will lock in at home at the season. Yeah. Let's go. Whoa. Here we are, the final home game of the season. Wow, wow, it's already here. But yeah, not to get too emotional, let's just get my predictions. Um, so I'm gonna predict Arsenal. Let's not get too confident, let's just go 3 0 Arsenal. Yeah, um, yeah, let's just get it with them. Let's go.
Aubameyang. He's missed one this season. He's been stopped there. I hate to remind myself about it. He's called a few zone. Right, here we go. He goes down in the middle. He always goes down in the middle. So it's going to be scary if he goes in. I have to score this one. It's a must try. I have to score. I have to score. Funny. Funny. Up his step. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah! yeah! Shaka. Oh, 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 o
two minutes.
right, 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 right. Here goes. Here goes Mustafi. Europa League because we could still quite easily go and get Champions League football and you never know but first top four we're not going to make top four now unless Tottenham lose massively or we win massively which we're not going to do because we're not going to be Burnley. The Europa League we have to focus on those two games and if we win the Europa League wow fantastic but if we don't Europa League football for we'll another year and it's just mm, it sets us back in the year. I go back to the result against Palace I go back to the result against Brighton today and these games we should have won lost and we've drawn um, it's just fucking shit it feels shit it feels awful i don't want to talk i want to go on to the next game we've got valencia next is a massive game bet the lads in that whatever anyways like subscribe comment laugh at me all you want but if you're a man united fan i'm not gonna do it actually just a hit <laughs>